Dave, how do you wrap that thing up today? Well, I mean, we didn't give ourselves a chance to win the game. I mean, you know, we walked double digits and hit a couple. Uh, you know, we, we, we fought back in the game and flipped around the momentum, took the lead 5-4 and come out and walked the leadoff man on four pitches. I think they get a hit. I don't know what happened after that. And next thing you know, they scored three. We're down a couple runs and we come in and I don't know, didn't go good. And uh, come out and give up three more, more walks, a couple hits and, uh, you know, give them credit. They've got a good lineup. But you got to make you got to make people earn it, you know. I'd rather have I'd rather have them have 20 hits, you know, than than 14 hits and and and, and take away 10 of those walks. I can live with that. It's the, you know, it's it's not throwing the ball over the plate that 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 you know really made the difference in the game. Who's Kasi Shark? I'm not available. He's hurt. How long? Is Don't know. Your message to the team, because it looks like yeah. you kind of talked to them for a Just while. Just talked about paying attention to details, you know, all the little things, you know. How about holding runners, you know, keeping on runners and, uh, you know, just throwing the ball over the plate, making an adjustment. Um, we're going to make some adjustments, maybe on who travels. If guys can't throw it over the plate, we'll give some other guys opportunity and, uh, you know, little things like that. Uh, I think he, you know, he didn't say anything till after he came out of the game. We took him out because he wasn't thrown over the plate. His velocity was good. He just got a little bit of a strain in there. I think, uh, I don't even know if it's a strain. Probably shouldn't even use that word. Um, we're just, we're just being cautious. He had an MRI. It's clean. Uh, but he was unavailable, you know, yesterday and today. And we, we could have used him today. With Lander, he's had so much success starting. And when he comes out of the bullpen, I mean, can you put your finger yeah. on it? No, but we tried to make it like he was starting by not. We would have liked to have brought him in a couple of times with some left-handed hitters coming up in the middle of an inning. We didn't do it uh, to give him an opportunity to just start an inning, make it like he was starting, and, and uh, he he just he didn't throw the ball over the plate, which, you know, I, I don't get it. Uh, he's, he's usually pretty good at throwing the ball over the plate when he starts an inning. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, was, it was disappointing, obviously. You're going to sleep on it before you decide who you'll start against you. Yeah, time. yeah. I don't know who we're going to start yet. I mean, we've we've used just about everybody, and uh, you know, we'll we'll figure it out. What we should be able to announce that tomorrow afternoon. Scroggins doesn't usually walk a lot of guys. What what was up to him today? I don't know. I mean, you know, he's pitched so good for us. Uh, you know, he he still worked his way out of jams, and he's good at that. And uh, was proud of him for hanging in there and giving us. Uh, four innings, four innings and five walks. Um, only give up two runs. You know, uh, really, he kind of did what we needed him to do. Give us four or five innings. And if he would have had a little more command, you know, I think he would have given us six. Um, but the way it turned out, we had to go to the pen a little bit early. Pitch count got up, and he was getting ready to face, you know, that that order again. And uh, you know, we just figured it was time to bring in Wicklander, and he goes out and he gets one out. You know, walks a couple guys, both of his his runs score, and uh, I don't know, walks a couple, gave up a couple of hits. So, it's uh, a difficult day. During the middle innings, they'd score two, you'd score three, they'd score three, and then Myers came in. And yeah. what did you think about what he did? Well, Myers did a nice job because he threw strikes. You know, it wasn't overpowering. We hit some balls hard, uh, but what he did is he he made us earn it. He didn't earn it. He didn't walk anybody. And uh, you know, we hit into a double play. Um, we got a few hits off of him, but you know, we couldn't we couldn't put together a, a, you know a big inning. You know, I think that like I told the you know it's it works both ways. If pitchers pitching real well and the offense isn't scoring, it can be a little demoralizing. Today it was more like you know we just kept standing in the field. And, and we were trying to come back, trying to come back. We took the lead and then go out and walk people. And it's, it's, it's tough for our you know, guys to make plays and stay focused, which we filled the ball pretty well for the most part. And we let a pop-up drop in foul territory that you know probably ended up costing us a run because he ended up dribbling one up the first baseline. Uh, and then the next hitter made an out as well. But uh, yeah, it was just, uh, it, was, uh, it was not a good day. Like what you saw from Trest at all because he'd had some command issues. Yeah, I mean, his stuff's pretty good. He keeps the ball down. Uh, ball sinks and runs, and 
you know, a little here, a little there, see, see a few things that you think you can build off of. But, uh, again, he kind of figured a way to work out of a, a couple of jams or that he kind of got himself into. So that was good to see.